Introducing the Creator Pro 2016. This is the latest model from Flashforge. Uh, just come out, officially launched on the 16th of April. Uh, once again, a 3D printer super saw first. We're the first ones to show this to you in the flesh. Uh, this is an upgrade from the uh, previous generation of Creator Pro uh, printers, which have been a huge success. Uh, Flashforge have produced some fantastic printers. Uh, they started off making clones of uh, MakerBot printers originally. They actually got really good at making printers. Uh, so they started making their own, uh, sort of breaking away from the open source scenario. The Creator has, was their original printer uh, and the Creator Pro has been a derivative of that. It's a refined uh, machine. The original ones were timber. They went to a steel frame. With the uh, new Creator Pro for 2016, we've got some uh, new additions to the machine. Not so much in terms of uh, the mechanical components, uh, more so in the actual structure. The chassis has been completely updated. Uh, all the uh, uh, laser cut pieces for the enclosure have been replaced with either injection molded uh, components uh, or actual pressed metal uh, components in the frame. So if we look at the actual structure of the frame we can see that uh, got pressed metal components. Uh, we've now got some, um, some handles on the side. Uh, the door is now injection molded. Look inside the screen, and you just get a focus on there. It has been updated, it's much brighter, it's very clean. Uh, inside, if we can see here, uh, press metal components throughout. In terms of the print head, it hasn't changed significantly. Uh, they do have the airflow there optimizing for PLA for one side and ABS for the other. Uh, not much has changed in the evolution of that. They do have some different, um, more efficient uh, gears pushing the filament through. Uh, but other than that, hasn't changed too much. The wiring system has improved. They've actually got wires uh, held out of the way. This is most significant. At the back of the machine, they've actually allowed some space for the cables, which has always been a, a bit of a sore point on the uh, Flashforge Dreamer, there's just not enough room for the cables in the back, so they they do get a little bit of a hard time uh, wearing out uh, or rubbing from the moving the moving areas. Uh, just a few changes if I can get in there. Uh, they've uh, got rid of the wing nuts, and now they have. Uh, some more ergonomically uh, designed um, adjustment screws for the, for the calibration. The board is completely changed. It actually looks like a much more efficient uh, enclosed chamber now. So I would dare say that printing in ABS, controlling warping will have improved once again with the enclosure. Uh, the layout at the back is the same with the dual uh, printing options it's all been integrally molded now into the piece so those pieces are all clipped into injection molded parts it's much more refined it's definitely more rigid it's going to improve print quality once again if that's possible uh, print quality on these machines is well renowned for being a very good high performance machine incredibly uh, great value for 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 uh, the price you pay you really get a lot of machine here dual head print can print in a lot of variety of materials uh, can print two color parts uh, you can print combinations with rubber and hard parts you can print uh, insoluble materials such as hips and uh, PVA you can print in uh, some nylon materials uh, polycarbonate's getting too hot, it still uh, maintains its uh, um, 
Teflon lined uh, hot end which increases its reliability and reduces blockages but it does restrict somewhat the maximum temperatures that you can print at. Other than that reliable machine as I said great print quality. This design is actually a little more compact uh, so they've Im improved significantly the packaging of these machines. Uh, the, uh, they have uh, foam inserts on the machine. The heads are much well uh, protected for transit. Um, yeah, the packaging has, has reduced. The actual frame itself is smaller than the original. Still the same build size, just a far more uh, efficient utilization of space. Overall, looks very polished, very impressive. It's a very neat machine. Uh, certainly looks the part when you uh, turn it on and it all lights up. The, the LED lighting is, is beautiful. The, the screen is beautiful. The buttons are uh, uh, nice, nice feel, nice ergonomic feel. Overall, really a very polished machine. You've seen it first here at the 3D Printer Superstore. And uh, I hope you enjoyed our first look at the Creator Pro from Flashforge 2016. Thank you.